Hi guys, welcome to another episode. We're here at our test station. We had a question on how strong is our slip knot between the real line, Dyneema real line, and the mono shooting line. So we've set it up here, simulating the attachment to your spear. We're gonna haul on that with the slip knot. The slip knot is tied in that position onto the loop. And I've just wound the excess around this tag end. A wrap line, tightly wrapped like that, is stronger than a knot. So if anything's gonna fail, it should be on the knot end. Let's see how strong the slip knot is. Taking up tension. I have done this in the past and it always seemed adequate, but we never actually videoed it. Normally the mono is around 90 kilos before it parts. I do recall a single wrap around the mono does tend to bite in and shear the mono. As you can see, it is collapsing into the mono now. Pulling tight. We have done this wet as well and uh, I've never had a slippage. Now we're getting up to 50 kilos. Hope we don't run out of stroke. Seems like we're getting a bit of slippage on the knot end. Correction on the wrapped end. So as you saw in the previous, it started to unravel even though I wrapped it many, many times. We've now thrown in a bunch of half hitches. Let's see if that prevents the slippage. Okay, we're at 20 kilos. There's three wraps of Dyneema before the loop went through. There we're at 50, 60 kilos. It's very unlikely you'll ever pull that hard. There's a bit of slippage now happening at 70. This is a new Dyneema that's made by a different manufacturers. Seems to be a lot more waxy. We are getting 70 kilos, 80 kilos. Yeah. It did slip quite a bit, but finally jammed up. And the mono broke in the crimp at around 80 plus kilos. We normally get about 80 to 90 kilos anyway. So that was interesting. I've never seen one cinch up, but the break was in the crimp, which is the weakest point. This being double mono, that's much stronger than the single mono coming out that side of the crimp. I think that was a good visual. I'm going to do another where I'm going to wrap twice around the loop. I'll show you how we do that. So this is the way I personally prefer to do it, is you go through the loop twice. So there's a double wrap and then three times around the main line. Once, twice, three times. Tag in through, cinch that all up. Now, just to demonstrate in the water, if you've got this in hand and you're holding your fish, it's that easy to undo. And to retire, same again, once, twice, three times around the main line, and then fold the tag end in. Personally, I don't like burning that end. We're leaving this quite large for demonstration purposes. I found if you do burn that knob on the end, that can hook on reef and that will undo your knot. I feel it's better not to have that tag end burnt. Let's see how that does. Again, the failure on the previous one wasn't the knot, it was the 
mono, which was, is the logical spot to break. This zone being double is way stronger than the single. So the break should happen this side and that knot, although it's called a slip knot, should not slip undone when under tension. Let's haul on that. And that's already 50 kilos. It's going to be really difficult to pull that hard in the water. 70. 80. Ah, this is slipping again. Okay, let's go. Take two. After adjusting the half hitches, I want the load to be on the knot, not on the where it's wrapped. Here we have 40 kilos, really tight, 60, so you should break at about 90, 80, 90, whoa, just under 100, 99. The Dyneema itself got compressed inside that knot and failed. This is normal. The Dyneema is about 170, 180 kg brake strain, but knots do weaken it. Um, that was interesting that it actually broke before the mono. But as I mentioned before, anything over 50 kilos is way more than you need. We were double there with that. That double wrap tends to lock it up more. And uh, interesting. Not something you're going to be, pull, be pulling that hard in the water. If your rig got fouled in a reef and you climbed out the water onto the boat and hauled with the boat, that's what you would need to break this. Hi guys, just a short insert. We ran this test a few days ago and I had remembered and I had mentioned it previously that we found a single wrap would sometimes tear out the mono. We have changed both the Dyneema and the mono in that time. It was many years ago we did those tests and we found the double wrap was better. But looking back at the video, I realized that the single wrap didn't break the mono, it used to tear out. And uh, the reason being is the mono we're now using is much stiffer. We have this made specifically for us in this harder version. It's basically a higher heat level. Um, it doesn't change its strength, but it does change the crimpability of it. It's less likely to distort within the crimp and pull out. So it does make for a stronger crimp. So that's why we use the stiffer one. That also tends to prevent it from pulling out. If I show you a close up of that, it's really distorted, um, but it didn't break. So it's actually not necessary to do a double wrap. The single wrap did hold more than adequately. I would maybe even wrap it four times around instead of three. Uh, the slip knot still slips out quite easily. So there you have our test. And uh, please feel free to ask for any other gear to be tested. And uh, feel free to make as many comments as you like. Enjoy the next one.